2018 Lincoln Navigator. What hasn't changed about the 2018 Lincoln Navigator is this, it's still gigantic. Lincoln lists the shortest and lightest version of this body on frame beast at 210.0 inches long, and one offensive tackle shy of 3 tons hefty. The long wheelbase Navigator L with four-wheel drive comes in at 221.9 inches and well over 6,000 pounds. Ford built some Super Duty pickups and commercial trucks that are heavier, and during World War II it knocked out four engine B-24 bombers to defeat fascism. So this isn't the biggest Ford product ever. But it sure isn't small. Highs Steamship presence, satisfying acceleration, not entirely unathletic, utter comfort for eight. Lows Some cheap interior bits, skimpy cargo room in standard wheelbase models, top models cost six figures. And, like Ford's F-Series light and heavy-duty pickups in the B24, this new Navigator features a body made mostly of aluminum. The switch from steel body construction saves about 200 pounds over the 2017 version, depending on model, Lincoln says. And that's despite fractional growth in most dimensions over its predecessor, which was introduced in 2007. Still, three tons isn't live. And Lincoln has done nothing to minimize the three-row, seven or eight-seat navigator's epic scale. The grille remains massive, although it's now square with a recessed mesh of Lincoln logo-shaped holes backed by active shutters for aerodynamic efficiency. The rest of the body is still designed to project an imposing presence wherever it goes. It looks good in a sleek and brutalist sort of way, but it may be impossible to make a box this big look truly elegant. and an imposing presence is likely, what gator buyers want anyhow. Some elements present a more contemporary appearance than before. The navigator sides are defined by a slick crease running just below the belt line that ties everything together, and black B and C pillars make the greenhouse look more unified. The whole thing appears less clunky and slap-sided than the one we've grown accustomed to seeing over the past decade. Still a big truck. Lincoln hasn't allowed this vehicle to devolve into a crossover of any sort. There's a full steel ladder frame under all that aluminum, and the suspension system is more truck in concept than MP car. This is not quite the simple job of slapping an SUV body atop a pickup truck chassis, though, because the Navigator, along with its blue collar sibling, the Ford Expedition, adopted independent rear suspension back in 2003. The nose rides atop massive control arms quite similar to an F-150s, but the rear employs a multi-link setup that delivers better controlled ride motions and packaging advantages over its arch-rival, the Cadillac Escalade. That's right, almost two decades into the 21st century, and the Escalade still has a solid log between its two rear wheels. 
Back in 2015, Lincoln replaced the Navigator's V8 engine with Ford's first-generation twin-turbocharged 3.5-liter V6. Lincoln doesn't use the Ford brand's EcoBoost label, but it's a version of the same engine that is used in Ford trucks, including the F-150 and the Expedition. In the Navigator, Lincoln has rated the latest V6 at 450 horsepower at 5500 rpm and 510 pounds-foot of torque at 3000 rpm. The same output the 3.5 generates in the mighty F-150 Raptor. That's 70 horsepower and 50 pounds-foot more than was produced by the similar engine in the 2017 Navigator, with both peaks coming 250 rpm higher than before. In normal use, however, the V6 will never operate near 5500 rpm. The sole transmission offered is the 10-speed automatic co-developed with General Motors, and also used in other Ford trucks, and in cars such as the Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 and the 2018 Ford Mustang. The point of a transmission with so many gears is to keep the engine running as slowly as possible at all times, minimizing revs reduces fuel consumption. Three-ton trucks don't have much else working in their favor, economy-wise. As it is, the new Navigator merits an EPA city fuel economy rating of 16 miles per gallon, that's with either wheelbase and either two- or four-wheel drive. The EPA estimates 23 miles per gallon on the highway for the standard 122.5-inch wheelbase rear driver, dropping to 21 with four-wheel drive. The rear and four-wheel drive L models with a 131.6-inch wheelbase are highway rated at 22 and 21 miles per gallon. Our experiences with Ford EcoBoost engines tempers our faith that the EPA numbers can be matched by ordinary drivers, any trace of aggression in throttle application sucks fuel. The 2018 Navigator is available in four trim levels ranging from the short wheelbase to wheel drive $73,250 Premier. which rides on 20-inch wheels through the select and reserve models on 22s, up to the black label that also gets 22s. A four-wheel drive, long wheelbase black label L starts at $98,100. Hit the options list aggressively, and a black label L will easily vault past $100K. Like General Motors, then, Ford doesn't seem shy about asking the same money you'd pay for a Mercedes-Benz GLS 4, 